good day everyone in this lecture video uh, I will be uh, discussing part 3 of chapter 1 as you can see here uh, this uh, lecture is uh, this part is quite long uh, so maybe I will be uh, dividing it into maybe four parts uh, but uh, before that, uh, let me recall uh, our previous uh, topic, part one. We discussed about review of some basic topic, uh, basic uh, topics or uh, concepts in uh, calculus, and then we also discussed about uh, Python basics, and finally we have uh, this one, okay, computer arithmetic. So for uh, our first lecture in this uh, subtopic, we will be discussing the representation of numbers in different phases. Before we are going to discuss the floating point uh, representation of uh, numbers. Okay, for as we know before, uh, the base 10 which is uh, what we use today, uh, like 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on and so forth, up to 9. We use those uh, digits as for, for, for the base 10. Uh, we know how to add or how to represent that uh, kind of number. For anyway, uh, the, for, for any real number of the form, this one. Uh, a n a sub n minus one up to a sub zero is uh, what we call the integral integer part, integer part. While uh, b one, b two, b three, and so on and so forth is what we call the fractional part. Okay. Uh, why this? Why why is this? It is because uh, there are some uh, uh, real numbers that. Uh, have uh, an infinite expansion so you can express this one as in this form uh, you can uh, separate the integer part uh, which is this is what we call the integer part and this one is the fractional part okay <laughs> and by the way if the if there's an ambiguity uh, a number represented in base uh, beta is uh, let me okay, this one here uh, in base beta uh, is signified by enclosing it in parentheses and adding a subscript beta so this is because uh, maybe there are if beta is greater than let's say 10 uh, how do we how do we uh, greater than 9 if uh, how do we represent uh, 10 11 and 12 so what we do here is maybe we can express or enclose it in parentheses or maybe uh, replace it by a letter okay so anyway let me explain that one later so let me give to you an example on how to represent uh, a, uh, a real number into this form okay so let me open my uh, let's say where are you open board <coughs> this one here so what if you have this uh, number for example uh, for that let me hide this one first and then let me see what's the next sorry we have okay not it not this one so I'm sorry no. so what if uh, we have I'm 
answer. Let's say this one. Okay, this number. Uh, let's say if we have this one here. Uh, 23,851. This one. So let's. Uh, Express this number. Uh, show this stuff. Here. Where are you? Uh, for example, this one here. Okay, we will write this one. Uh, let me put also a, a decimal here. Okay, so what happened? Let me go this one here. Let's say point three seven uh, six four. So from here, as you have noticed, uh, our a sub one, a sub uh, a sub zero is c. A sub 0, this is A sub 1, and this is our A sub 2. We have A sub 3, and this is our A sub 4. Okay. <laughs> For this one here, this is our B sub 1, this is our B sub 2, this is our B sub 3, and this is our B sub 4. Okay. So, we can write it in this form. Uh, a sub 0 so this is summation this is summation of a sub k k starts from 0 to our n is 4 uh, our base is 10 to the k plus summation of uh, b sub k uh, times 10 to the negative k k starts from 1 to uh, 4 also so it happens that uh, it will end at 4 we have the same uh, the, the n here in our uh, n here is the same as this one okay so let's say let's recall again our notation we have infinity okay zero so I guess I I was wrong this will start at one so let me correct it uh, this will start at one sorry Okay, let me open my tech uh, studio and then replace that with n is equal to n is equal to 1 sorry uh, where's that one python code starts with one here okay with one and then let's run this code again and let's see if uh, there's a change so this one here uh, what happened Where are you? Uh, representation base 10 k is equal to 0. I guess I am I am right. So what happened? 
just wait for a while okay so this one we have this beta this one here okay so we have k is equal to one so let's try to open our open board where are you where's my open board this is my open board so let's go back to this one here we have if we try to expand this we have a sub 0 times 10 to the 0 and then this is a sub 1 times 10 to the 1 plus uh, a sub 2 10 to the 2 up to a sub 3 we have 10 to the 3 plus for the fractional part we have b sub 1 10 to the negative 1 plus b sub 2 10 to the negative 2 plus b sub 3 10 to the negative 3 and last one b sub 4 10 to the negative uh, let's move it somewhere here 4 so again let's replace we have this is 1 <laughs> times uh, 10 to the 0 plus uh, 5 okay 5 times uh, 10 to the 1 plus 8 times 10 to the 2 plus 3 sorry we have to insert somewhere here somewhere we have to insert this one it should be plus 10 uh, no a sub 4 a sub 4 10 to the 4 <coughs> okay sorry for that one so we have 3 times 10 to the 3 and then 2 times 10 to the 4 plus for the fractional part we have let's change the color let's say we have blue here Okay, so this one, uh, 3 times 10 to the negative 1 plus 7 times 10 to the negative 2 plus uh, 6 times 10 to the negative 3 and lastly, we have 6, uh, no, 4 times 10 to the negative 4 okay so this is how you are going to use that formula okay so this is the expansion this is how you are going to express a real number to its uh, decimal uh, expansion okay or form so Let's uh, hide this one first. <coughs> okay, so let's go back to our PDF. Uh, sorry. So this one. Okay, so I hope that you understand the note here. So what will happen if you have uh, base 20? So how do you represent 11 12 13 so if 1 and 11 is uh, uh, will be uh, what do you call this one uh, near no? to each other so how do you represent 1 1 1 1 is separate from 11 okay so there's a way for that uh, explain that one more in detail so let's uh, now discuss the base beta number so this is more general 
than the previous uh, discussion. So this includes uh, our beta which is equal to 10. So what if uh, your beta is equal to 2, 3, 4 and so on and so forth. So it's just the same. All you have to do is to replace uh, 10 here by beta. Okay, so of course uh, our beta will start from 2 when beta is equal to 2 then you have two numbers we have 0 and 1 so that's what we call the binary system if uh, our beta is 8 then we have the octal system and if our beta is 16 then we have the hexadecimal system okay so that's a uh, uh, very familiar uh, systems of uh, numbers okay so notice also that uh, if our beta is uh, greater than 10 then uh, it is uh, necessary to represent these numbers 10 11 and so on by uh, a letter or any symbol because uh, it will confuse if you if 2 and 10 will be next to each other so there is no separator for that one so let's uh, replace or use any symbols like letter A or letter B and so on and so forth and also the, the this point here is what we call the radix point uh, this will be called decimal point if uh, we are using beta which is equal to 10 okay so decimal point this this word here is uh, reserved for base 10 numbers only okay so please remember that okay so let's hide this one first and then let me open my terminal sorry not this one one here and come back again so this is how you are going to represent uh, a number in uh, a given base okay so what if I uh, know uh, let's try to let's first uh, use this definition let's try to convert uh, a beta number uh, to a decimal number okay so let's minimize this one first and let's try to have this example and then page from here so let's say if we have this one uh, how about uh, let's convert this one uh, seven six one four two let's convert this one bc to a um, uh, decimal number DC means 10 so let's uh, try this one notice that we don't have a fractional part so we have 2 <laughs> times 8 to the 0 plus uh, 4 uh, the second first digit is this is a, a, a sub uh, a sub one no a sub zero a sub zero is sub one is four a sub two is one and so on and so forth we have times eight to the one plus one times eight to the two plus six times eight to the three 
plus <coughs> uh, 7 times 8 to the 4. Okay? So, notice that we have to perform the multiplication first before addition. So, let's try this one. Uh, this is this is 1, this is 8, this is 64, this is, let me have my calculator here, where's my calculator? Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, uh, let's try the first my calculator let me use my cell phone so we have a times a times a so we have 512 this is 512 and the last one we have 512 times 8 again this is 4096 so this is 2 uh, sorry let me change the color we have 2 times uh, this is 2 times 1 is uh, 2 times 1 is 2 for the second term is 32 the third term is 64 the fourth term is 512 times 6 so we have 3072 and finally 4096 times uh, 7 is 28,672 28, <coughs> so if we are going to add it all so we have uh, 28,672 plus 3072 plus 64 plus 32 and plus 2 so we have 31,000, 31,842, okay? So the, this is in an octal number, so if we are going to change it to a decimal number, so this is the answer, 31,842. So what is the reverse of this? Uh, how do we convert a decimal number into an octal number okay so we will discuss that one later so before that let's have an example where uh, we have a fractional uh, part okay we have let's say this one uh, let's say 0 0.36 uh, Two zero seven. Uh, again in base 8 let's convert this one to uh, a decimal number so we have here uh, let's have color blue we have 3 times 8 to the negative 1 just like before uh, let's hide this one first Okay, it, it will start again this is I have a mistake here this must be this will start at start at k is equal to 1 again let me change that one first uh, where are you so this one here k is equal to 1 k is equal to 1 and let's run this code here we have 
go back again so we have plus 6 times 8 to the negative 2 plus 2 times 8 to the negative 3 plus uh, 0 times 8 to the negative 4 plus lastly we have 7 times 8 to the negative 5 so 1 2 as you can see here we have 1 2 3 4 5 okay so what will happen here is uh, we will express it in this form let's try this black color here we have this is 3 over uh, 60 uh, no 8 this one here we have 6 8 squared we have 2 8 cube we have 0 so this one here we will cancel it out this is 0 okay so let's proceed to the uh, to the last one we have 7 over 8 to the 5 so we have 3 over 8 6 over 64 plus 2 over what is 8 cube 8 cube is 512 Okay, 512. 512 plus 7 over what is. Uh, uh, let me use again my cell phone. We have 4096 times 8. We have 32,768. 32,768 and if you are going to add these uh, numbers you can use a calculator okay so this is you can try it at home this is 15,495 over 32,000 uh, 768 which is uh, equivalent to 0 0.47 uh, 28 okay we have an infinite number okay so this is the uh, a decimal number this is an octal number so that's how you are going to uh, convert a decim uh, an octal uh, number to a decimal number okay so let's proceed to uh, the next the next one is sorry this one here hmm. okay our next topic is how to convert uh, an integer parts okay uh, it is uh, advisable uh, that we are going to convert the a number uh, separately uh, you convert the integer part and then convert the fractional part of a number so <coughs> Consider this number n. Notice that uh, there is no fractional part. Okay, so in the previous discussion, we we have this one. Okay, we have a fractional part. So we consider the the uh, integer integer part first, since it is uh, stated here that we do it separately. So suppose that our ba our base is uh, given as gamma. So we can express as in this form okay so and then suppose that we wish to convert this uh, to the number system with base beta so if you have uh, gamma is equal to 8 and then convert to base 10 uh, so 
that's an example. So, and that the calculations are to be performed in the arithmetic mean base method. So, in the previous discussion, our uh, the, the 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 right hand side of of our let's say discussion here, where there's that one, this one, the right hand side uh, operates in the uh, base. This is what do we mean by by uh, this statement, this uh, statement here. Okay, so write n in its nested form. So if you expand this one, you can write it in this form. So how will you do that? Okay, so let's try expanding this one here. Uh, let's try another page. Let's say our n is d sub n, d sub n minus 1, uh, and so on, up to a sub 3, a sub 2, a sub 1, where our base is gamma. This can be expressed as in this form, a sub k, gamma to the k, our k starts from 0, Sorry, this would be sub zero to the n. Okay, so <coughs> if we expand this uh, summation here, so this is a sub zero times uh, gamma to the zero plus a sub one gamma to the one plus a sub two. Uh, sorry, uh, let me open my camera first camera where are you not that, not this one uh, this one here mm, i want to open my camera and then go back again so this one here we have let's try more uh, gamma to the two up to let's say a sub n minus 2 gamma to the n minus 2 a sub n minus 1 gamma to the n minus 1 and finally we have <coughs> a sub n gamma to the uh, n okay so how do you write this in nested form okay as uh, what is stated here how do you write it in this form okay so notice that this is uh, this is one okay that's one so we have we have here a sub zero plus uh, notice that in the second term this one here second term first term second term third term fourth fifth up to the end term in the second term up to the end term there is a common uh, symbol here which is uh, gamma okay so we, if we factor gamma so if we factor out gamma here gamma so what remains is we have in the second term we have a sub 1 in the third term we have a sub 2 gamma to the 1 we have a sub 3 gamma to the 2 and so on and so forth up to a sub n minus 2 gamma to the n minus uh, 3 okay since we take out okay we we take out uh, gamma here, one gamma, okay, gamma to the one. Okay, for this one here, the n minus one term, we have a sub n minus one gamma to the n minus two, and lastly, we have gamma to the n minus one. Okay, <laughs> so we do the same 
uh, method in this uh, uh, factor. Okay, we have two terms, a sub 0 and and we have this one, the first term and this the second term, this one here. And in this factor, we can, again, factor out gamma here. Okay? So, we will do the same. Let's try another color. Let's say blue. Okay, we have a sub 0 plus gamma a sub 1 plus, let's factor out gamma and what remains here this one here is a sub 2 okay that one so we have a sub 2 plus uh, a sub 3 gamma plus and so on up to a sub n minus 2 gamma to n minus 4 plus a sub n minus 1 gamma n minus 3 plus a sub n gamma n minus 2 okay so we have two symbols here parenthesis okay so do that until you will uh, arrive it in this form okay this one okay so you can move that one and so on and so forth and then you will arrive at this form okay and then after that it says here and then replace each of the numbers on the right this one the right here this is the right here this one the right by its uh, representation let's say let me where's that one hide open board uh, its representation uh, where are you uh, where are you by carrying, carrying out the calculation calculations in uh, beta arithmetic okay so meaning to say uh, a sub 0 uh, a sub 1 a sub 2 a sub n minus 1 and a sub n is you will convert it to beta numbers the same is true for gamma okay that's it uh, that's what we mean by by this statement then replace each of the numbers on the right by its representation by carrying out the calculations in beta arithmetic okay so let's uh, try to uh, what they call this one convert this one uh, using uh, this method so in the place of the is of case, that's what we said, that what I said, uh, the equivalent base beta numbers requires people showing how each of the numbers 0 up to gamma minus 1 appears in the beta system. Uh, moreover, a base beta multiplication table may be required. So let's try to illustrate this, this, uh, this method. Okay? So, for example, this uh, number is, uh, we are going to convert uh, 8713 to base 2, okay? Let's try to convert that one in base 2. So, let's open our board, open board here. Uh, open board here, so... Let's uh, try another page. We have, uh, I recall, what's that one? 8713. 8713. 8713. This is base 10. So convert this in base 2. 
Okay. So, by the, the given procedure, so let's uh, write this as 3 times uh, 10 to the 0 plus 1 times 10 to the 2 plus 7 times 10 to the 3. Uh, sorry, this is 0, 1. This is 1 here. Sorry. This is 1 plus 7 times 10 to the 2 plus 8 times 10 to the 3. Okay? And then after this is we will write it in a nested uh, notation or form. So we have this is 3 and we can we know that this one here is 1 so we have 3 plus uh, we have we can factor out 10 in this form this one here common here is 10 so we have 10 we have 1 plus again this is 7 uh, no no not that 1 so this is uh, 1, this is 10 again, then 7 plus uh, 8, uh, 10 times 8. We have close hey, here, we have one, we have the partner of this one is this one here, here we have, we have another one, that one. Okay, so next thing is uh, since we convert this to base 2 okay from base 10 no? base 10 to base 2 okay so what is the uh, what do you call this one the the how do we represent 3, 10, uh, this one here. How do we represent 10, uh, 3, 10, 1, 10, 7, this one here, this number here, to uh, uh, a binary uh, digit. So, anyway, I will explain that this one later, but I will use this first. Uh, we will use this one. We call, uh, let's say, this one here, uh, 3, which is in base 10, is uh, equal to 1, 1, okay, in base 2. And 10, in base 10, is equivalent to 1, 0, 1, 0 in base 2. 8, we will use this one. In base 10 is equivalent to 1, 0, 0 in base 2. And then 7 in base 10 is equivalent to 1, 1, 1 in base 2. And finally, uh, the number 1, number 1 in base 10 is uh, equivalent to this one, the same. Okay? So we will use this one here, but I will show you later how how uh, how to uh, what is one to get this uh, conversion, or maybe you can uh, search it in the uh, in Google in your browser. But anyway, replace this one here. Let's uh, have this. Uh, color, let's say, let's try mm, okay. So 3 is, we have 1, 1 10 is uh, 1, 0, 1, 0 And then 1 is 1 in base 2 Plus 10 is 1, 0, 1, 0 in base 2 And then 7 is 1, 1, 1 in base 2 and 10 is 
sa 1010 in phase 2 and finally a, our 8 is mm, 100 in phase 2 and we have two more okay so next is uh, perform the operation in uh, in base 2 okay on the right hand side this one here so first is we we perform this first eh, this part here so we need to say let's multiply this one first after multiplying this uh, sorry this these two numbers after multiplying these two numbers here uh, add it to this number after that multiply again this number and then add again to this number and after that multiply again and add again okay so we need to say uh, this will start uh, from the uh, right hand side to, to the left hand so it will move this way sorry uh, let's try and record right here and move that way okay so let's copy uh, let's try to let's say uh, let me erase this one here first okay let's try to uh, multiply this uh, number here So, how do we multiply uh, binary digits? So, maybe we can use this, uh, this one here. Uh, maybe we can enlarge it. This one. So, okay, that one that's clear enough. Maybe. So, let's move. So, let's multiply these two numbers here okay first so what color do i use let's say color let's say black okay so one let's say one zero it doesn't matter if uh, this uh this one here will comes first or this one because multiplication is complicated so one zero one zero or one zero 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 so mean to say we have ten times eight okay so after this uh, let's multiply uh, let's say let's multiply here so it's just uh, the same as uh, to be just the same as in, uh, in multiplication in decimal system okay so let's say this one zero move that way we can multiply that way one and so on the same as a decimal system so we have zero 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 for the second uh, digit this one here second digit this one move to third fourth And so on and so forth and then we have to add okay so this is zero again zero 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 and then zero 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 and then zero one zero one okay so after this is uh, you can add okay So, what will happen? So, this is uh, zero. Uh, sorry. Let's uh, use uh, the blue one. Zero, 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 one, zero, one. Okay. So, that's uh, how you are going to... Uh, add okay if you want to know if this is correct then uh, 
of course the answer is 80 if you convert this uh, this one here if you convert this to to what they call this one to a decimal number then uh, you can do so by uh, writing it in this form this is uh, 0 times the first term this one here is a uh, a sub 0 a sub 1 is sub 0 is sub 1 is sub 2 is sub 3 is sub 4 is sub 5 and a sub 6 okay so just uh, we have 2 to the 0 we have since we have base 2 plus 0 times 2 to the 1 plus how many zeros we have 4 zeros uh, 0 times 2 to the 2 plus 0 times 2 to the 3 I mean, so 1, so 1, as you can see here, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we have another 1. Sorry. So we have time plus 1 times 2 to the 4, and then plus 0 times 2 to the 5, plus 1 times 2 to the 6 okay <laughs> then as you have noticed this is this is 0 this one here are zeros okay and this one is 0 also zero. so what remains here is we have 2 to the 4 and 2 to the 6 plus 2 to the 6 so 2 to the 4, we know that 2 to the 4 is <coughs> how much? 2 to the 4. We have uh, 4 times uh, 4 times 4, we have 16. This one here is 16. Uh, 16. This one here is 16 times 4. 16, am I right? 16 times 4, we have 64 is 64 and 64 plus 16 we know that this is 80 okay so we are correct that this uh, binary representation this is the binary representation of 80 and as you can see here this one here we have 10 times 8 is 80 so if we multiply this one is 80 okay so that's how you are going to multiply two binary numbers. Okay, so after this, uh, you add to 111, so 7. So meaning to say, the answer is 10 times 8 is 80 plus 7 is 87. So you multiply that one. Uh, no, not multiply, but add. So, so 1, 1, 1. So this one here we have addition so we can put zeros here somewhere here but it doesn't matter zero it's just the same you expand it the result will be seven uh, <coughs> so this will be one 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 zero one zero one okay so this number here is uh, this one this number here is 87 so after that you multiply to 10 so 87 so this one here let me correct it this one here is uh, this is 87 okay so if we multiply by 10 which is 1 0 1 0 1 0 multiply again the result will be 870 okay so we have so many mosquitoes here sorry for that so let's multiply again let's try this one maybe this color red so multiplication we have zero times any number we have zero 
zero here. It's nice if you can uh, put a box, some something like this. We have one 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 zero one zero one. Okay, and then zero here because we are multiplying the third digit. We have here the third digit. Second digit is one times number is this the same? So the last one we have one 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 zero one zero one. My right this is one zero one zero one one one. Okay. So and then after this we have to put a bar here somewhere and then add okay the result must be <coughs> uh, 870 so we have bring down here this one this one here we have zero okay we have zero we have zero one we have one we have we are operating in the uh, binary system so we have here 1 plus 1 is 2 which is 0 so we have we have here 0 and then carry 1 let's try this color here carry 1 okay and then uh, 1 this one here we have 1 plus 1 is again 2 which is 0 uh, 0 here and then carry 1 and then we have 1 plus 1 plus 1 we have 3 which is 1 in binary in binary system so this is 1 carry 1 here carry 1 so we have 1 here carry 1 again we have 1 here carry 1 here we have bring down 1 and finally we have 1 sorry let me replace it by this color one and then this is one okay so let me check my notes first this is uh, one zero uh, this is the first step let me label it first this is the first step this is the second step this one here and the result is this uh, this is the third step this one here third step okay so the result is something like uh zero one one we have okay i made a mistake somewhere here we have this is uh this is zero can i erase this one why is it zero here this should be this should be zero one one uh, zero one one zero zero one one zero why uh, as you can see we have here one bring down one two zero bring uh, carry two zero carry one and this is one carry one we have one so this one here is uh, we should not put carry one here okay 
this one here this one okay that one okay so after this uh this result is uh now what we call this is 870 if we convert this uh binary uh number into decimal number then this is equivalent to 870 okay so anyway after this uh you add by one okay so add by one so let's add this by one let's just try this color so add this one so the same we have one 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 zero zero one one zero one one so this is the fifth step fifth uh fifth uh step and then finally uh sorry fourth step fourth where is that one fourth step sorry this must be fourth step okay fourth step after this uh after we add one we multiply again by this number 10 okay so multiply by 10 multiply by 10 which is 1010 zero, one, zero. The result must be this result here is 871 uh, this one here uh, this is 871 so if we, if we multiply by 10 the resulting uh, the resulting binary uh, number is uh, 8710 so again the same method so multiply so this is zero our first digit is zero so all must be zero okay so all must be zero okay and then so the next digit is one so we have one 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 two zeros we have one one zero one one and then zeros again the third digit is zero and then finally we have one 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 zero zero one one zero one one okay so let's add this one okay we have first we have zero this is one this is one this is uh, zero we have carry one carry out one and this is uh, zero right okay one plus one is two which is zero and carry one so we have zero we have carry one so we have again this is zero uh, carry one we have carry one here one plus one we have and this is zero also sorry we have zero and then carry one we have zero again carry one this is one one here carry one so we have zero and we have carry one and this is sorry can we replace that one later this is zero carry one so we have zero and then carry one here we have one Okay, sorry this one this should be replaced that one by zero this is zero okay let me recall my notes we have zero one one 
oh, what happened? Uh, sorry, that's this one. This one here. We have zero. We have zero one one. How many zeros? One two three four five six. One two three four five six, and then one, and then zero, and then one. Okay, so I am on the right track. So this is equivalent to this one here is 8710 okay and then finally the last one is uh, we add by 3 or this one 1 1 okay so we add by let's try this color 1 1 1 1 so this will be 8713 so 1 this is 0 uh, carry 1 we have 0 sorry this is 0 uh, carry 1 this is 1 and then we don't do we, we don't put carry one uh, in this uh, column here this one here okay since one plus zero is already uh, it's already one so we use it already so let's bring down let's bring it down so we have this is one you have zero 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 one zero 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 one okay so we have one three zeros we have one one two three four five one two three four five okay so this result now is uh, eight thousand seven hundred thirteen okay so which is uh, our goal eight thousand seven hundred thirteen okay so if we if you want to if you want to uh, convert this one to to decimal uh, to de decimal number then uh, again just uh, apply just apply this one this is our the our first the, apply the definition this is our a sub zero so how many how many turn uh, how many digits we have a sub 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 our n is 13 we have 14 digits all in all so anyway so this is uh, in in uh, in a binary system we know that this is 0 so meaning to say 0 times a number is 0 so we will only get this one a sub 0 one two a sub three four five six seven eight nine a sub nine ten eleven twelve thirteen a sub thirteen okay so what we have here we have one uh, one times something so this is always one so i have a visitor here we have a a cat so we have to the 2 plus this is uh, 2 to the 3 plus 2 to the 9 plus this is 2 to the 13 I write 2 to the 13 a sub 0 yes I'm, so if you try to expand it uh, let's try opening our calculator this is 2 plus 8 what's 2 to the 9 2 to the 9 um, 2 to the 5 is 32 2 to the 5 is 32 
times 2 to the 4 is 16. It's 512. 512. But uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 4. Uh, 512 times 16 times 16 is what happened did I made a mistake here uh, okay so what's 2 to the 13 okay let's uh, anyway a sub 0 2 to the 9 Eight, but what happened? What? This is 8,000. Oh, sorry, sorry. 8,192. Okay. Uh, this 8,192. And then we add this one here. 8,192 plus 512 plus 8 plus 2. Oh. Why is it? It's why is it that this will oh no sorry this is this is one okay the first term here is one sorry this one here this is this must be one okay sorry so let's try to erase that one and this is one sorry so this is 8713 okay so this is the uh, binary digit of 8,000, a binary number for 8,713. Okay, so it's quite long. Let's uh, proceed. Okay, so let's proceed to, we, we, we are done this one. Okay, so notice that the the process is uh, very uh, lengthy very uh, lengthy so what we will do here is uh, let's try to have a, a shortcut using this uh, procedure this one here uh, but anyway, uh, before that, uh, it says here in the note, this arithmetic calculation is in binary is easy for the computer, but uh, tedious for humans. So as you can see, we try to solve it by hand, and uh, it's very hard to, it's very long, very tedious uh, for us to calculate that, that one by hand. Okay, so anyway, let's try to use another method. Uh, this procedure is uh, converting uh, first the the what they call this one this this number the 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 integer part to a to its nested form. Okay, and then divide by by n uh, by by beta. After dividing, the remainder is this uh, factor, okay? This factor here, this is the remainder. And then, after that, divide again by by beta, then the remainder is C sub 2 up to this one, C sub n. And then, divide again, the remainder is C sub 3, and so on and so on, up to C sub n. So, you will continue that process and uh, and you will see that the remainder c sub 0 c sub 1 and the quotients uh, will give us the 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 uh, what do you call this one the answer for uh, on, on how to convert a an integer part uh, using this kind of procedure okay so let's try to convert example 9 it the same as before this one here but uh, different method okay so what we we did in this uh, slide is we convert this uh, this one here to the every digit into a binary and then perform that operation in the uh, uh, binary system 
or in B system. So that's what we, we did in this procedure. But in, in this uh, shortcut, uh, we will use a, a division algorithm. So this is what we call division algorithm. Okay, this is another method. This is much uh, simpler than what we did in this in the, in the previous slide. Okay, so let's try to solve this. Uh, well, let's try to open our uh, whiteboard. Okay, uh, eight seven one three. Okay. So let's replace the background first. This one here, and then X. Okay, hide this one, and then let's let me. Okay, let's continue. Okay, so let's solve example nine using long div uh, using division algorithm. This this is what we call division algorithm. So, but anyway, uh. We have eight seven one three. We have here uh, eight seven one three solution of example nine. Example nine. So we have solution. Uh, we have as uh, was indicated uh, in the. Uh, previous slide previous slide uh, we divide uh, since our base is uh, base is 2 so we divide it by 2 uh, saving the remainders uh, along the way along the way so here is the work here is uh, the work okay so we will be using division algorithm so if you do not believe me uh, if you don't believe that this is uh, the, 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 the method or the procedure is uh, what we call a uh, division algorithm, I will show it later. We have three, what do call that? Three, three thousand, uh, three thousand seven, eh, eight thousand, eight thousand seven hundred thirteen. Okay, so using division algorithm. So divide by two since our base is two. You can do it. Uh, do the same if the problem is uh, if the base of the problem is other than two. The same method. Okay. <coughs> so we have eight thousand seven hundred thirteen. So how will you divide that one? Uh, Let's try to hide it first. Let's go to our this small uh, scientific calculator. Uh, let's try eight thousand seven hundred thirteen divided by two, and as you can see, we have. 4,356 4,356 4,356 uh, what they call this one uh, 356 356 okay so that's the remainder okay so just like this one here example if you have uh, 8700 divided by 2 this is 4356 and then 4356 
times 2 enter 4, 3, 5, 6 uh, times 2 the answer is uh, 8,712 8,712 so the remainder is 1 okay so we can put it somewhere here let's say color red this is our C sub 0 okay so this one here is the quotient and this is the remainder okay and then same we can divide it again by 2 4,356 uh, 4,356 divided by 2 we have let's say calculator now uh, 4,356 divided by 2 so 2 uh, 178 and then 4356 so the remainder is 0 so this is uh, 2178 and our remainder is 0 this is C sub 1 and so on and so forth until uh you got the last the last part you have two and then 2178 divided by two is 1000 so we have even the last digit is even total uh, 1089 so the remainder for he the, this part here is zero this is C sub 2 and then again divide by 2 so the last digit we know that uh, this one here the last digit is 2 so the remainder must be 1 okay 108 divided by 2 uh, this is 544 okay then the remainder is 1 C sub 3 divide again by 2 so 544 4. 544 4. 5, 4, 4, 4. divided by 2 is 272 272 so the remainder is 0 C sub 4 and then Let's divide again by 2 is 136 so the remainder is 0 again C sub 5 and then we have 2 here divided by 2 we have 68 so the remainder is 0 again C sub 6 we have divide 2 again uh, divide 2 we have 34 we have remainder 0 C sub 7 we are almost done divided by 2 again we have 17 so remainder 0 we have 0 C sub 8 and then divide by 2 is 8 we have 8 is the quotient but the remainder is 1 C sub 9 and then divided by 8 uh, 2 again we have 4 
and then we, did, we don't need a calculator here uh, we have a small number we have uh, 0 c sub 10 and then divide by 2 again we have 2 and the remainder is 0 c sub 11 and finally we have divided by 2 and the answer is 1 uh, so this is 1 so our rem remainder is 0 c sub 12 and finally sorry if we divide it by 2 we have the uh, we have here sorry the quotient is of course we have one two we have zero and zero one so this is uh, remainder uh, the quotient is zero and the remainder is one Okay, one C, C sub 13 okay so <coughs> as we know as we already know we write it in this form therefore sorry we cannot move can we move it somewhere here therefore uh, Therefore, our decimal t uh, number 8713 is uh, equivalent to 1. So, C sub, this one first. Okay, this one here first. Uh, we have 1, C sub 13, 12, 1, 0, zero zero one and then let's try this one here how many zeros one two three four five five zeros one two three four five and then we have one zero zero one one zero zero one so this is uh, in binary okay so that's the same as in our previous example using the long method we have one zero zero here let me check it one zero zero or seven zero one one okay that's correct okay so this is our final answer okay so this is much easier than the uh, previous uh, previous what they call this one method this method here this one okay so what will happen if we write it in reverse order okay so what if you will write uh, you will write c sub zero first one zero one one Okay, one zero one zero zero one zero 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 five zeros and then one three zeros and then one so this is what I am talking about let me okay this one here one zero zero what if we we, we reverse okay uh, one zero one zero zero one okay so what is the, the value of this uh, binary number okay this one here okay so let me uh, check it later I'm going to ask that question okay so uh, anyway uh, the next topic is uh, hide this one let me hide this one first okay convert 
the number 10 this one 10112 decimal form by nested multiplication okay uh, this is uh, this question is this one here okay so anyway uh, this should be reversed the question must be this must be replaced by anyway just uh, try this at home okay uh, let's have this uh, statement here no no not this one let me have this statement uh, another conversion problem exists in going from an integer in base gamma to an integer in base beta when using calculations in base gamma so this is base uh, if you are given in base gamma so remember just imagine you are given in base gamma and then uh, can you, you are going to convert it in base beta but uh, after the nested multiplication you perform the operation on the, the right hand side using the calculations in base gamma in the original so what will happen okay so just try it this uh, this uh, what they call this one this uh, scenario just try it at home try some numbers and then uh, I'm going to ask, uh, ask you this question okay in uh, in our uh, in in puzzle okay so anyway try to read this one okay this one first uh, let's try to have hundred percent no try one hundred fifty percent okay so this one okay so just copy this one okay so anyway uh, our next topic will be this one okay let's uh, pause uh, let's stop it right here this uh, part here conversion of int uh, integer parts let's continue this uh, topic in part 2 of uh, part B, no, part B should be part 3 B, okay, uh, to discuss on how to convert the fractional part of a given uh, uh, real number, okay, so I guess uh, that's the end of our discussion, so See you in our next lecture. God bless everyone.